Every year, Nepean has the Do It For Darren tournament. Everyone wears purple, and there's a whole bunch of like fundraisers of hopping in the lobby where they're selling like baskets. And my team sold rocks for to raise money with like little motivational things written on it. Well, I think like if you're stressed out about something, that just like breathe for a moment to like refocus. It's pretty important to me because I know that I'm not always okay and it, it shows me that like it's okay to not be okay and feel comfortable and yeah. I don't know, you always put pressure on yourself or you always want to succeed and like do your best, be your best for like, I don't know, what you want to grow up and aspire to be. I think it's good to talk about mental health for young athletes because it can be stressful and like it's okay to be able to talk about it. Certainly in girls hockey, uh, you know, Do It For Darren has been embraced from the get-go and uh, it's been, you know, it's been around now for almost a decade, I think, and in the girls hockey world, it's huge. Um, it's brought an incredible awareness to the players and to the families involved and um, it's made a real difference. DFT has raised awareness, inspired conversations, and really changed the frame around youth mental health here, um, especially in Ottawa. Um, not only have we done on the ground research with our chair in suicide prevention, but we've also done a, a fantastic program called Is It Just Me, where we bring in youth to learn about the brain, how it works, and how mental illness is just like any other illness that affects the body, and needs to be treated as such. Everybody relates to it, and people that have never been in hockey their entire lives, but their brother or somebody was affected by um, something and they want their kids to understand and grow up with it. It, it still does have the, the heart is in hockey I find, but now it's in schools, it's talked about so many places, basketball teams, baseball teams, like it's, it's really it just becomes something so special. I think the kids are, are starting to really understand that they don't have to suffer alone. They can ask for help. They can just talk if they need to talk because there's so much messaging out there in our community saying, you know, it's okay. It's okay to ask for help and to be sad or be mad or, or whatever it is.